Hi guys, it's Sonia. I'm so my screechy chair. <laughs> um, today I want to do a makeup tutorial for you guys. I know you've been asking for one, so I'm gonna do this look today. Um, I have horrible dry eyes. I went to the dermatologist. I have eczema, so I can't. You know, it looks dry and crackling. It's itching. Um, they gave me a cream from the dermatologist to use cortisone cream and it's really helping so I haven't worn any makeup. I'm not supposed to be really wearing any but I'm putting some on just for you guys because <laughs> I promised I did want to do this and I really want to do this and so um, this is my first makeup tutorial. Hopefully it's all gonna go well. It may not. It's gonna be a little scattered. It's 5-2 today so I haven't eaten anything. Um, so stick around and I hope you enjoy it. Just keep in mind my eyes are dry and crackly from and it happened because of all the different products I've been trying and you can try anything when you work at Sephora so I've been trying all these different products and I was doing retinol. I quit using the retinol. I had to go down to use nothing. I'm using nothing but Cetaphil and CeraVe and the eye cream from the doctor and that's it. So I think what happened was I used a Silit I used an acid peel or I used a Murad line, the green line that has um, not hyaluronic acid, the, the acne acid, whatever acid. And I think together with that retinol, I chemically burnt my face. And I think that's what happened. So I'm staying away from all of that for right now. And I have to slowly reintroduce things. So I hope you enjoy this makeup tutorial. So here we go. Oh, <laughs> okay, here we go. So, so far I've done nothing but um, put from my dermatologist... Desinate, which is a cortisone cream around my eyes, so no eye cream. And the only moisturizer I have on is CeraV, which is from my dermatologist. And because my eyes are still recovering, I don't know if you can see, it's still a little bit dry from the, the eczema. Um, I'm not going to put any eye cream on. And as soon as I'm done putting all this on, I'm going to take it all right back off. I'm only doing this for you guys because you requested it. And I'm kind of swollen today, but this is real life and it is what it is. And you look how you look and you just try to make yourself look better. So that's what we're going to try to do today. <laughs> so, um, so far, so I just have the moisturizer, the cortisone. I've done a little bit of spot treatment with some concealer that I've had forever that's really nasty that I'm not even going to show you or tell you where it's from because it's gross. Um... So I'm going to start off with, I, the one, and the other thing I've done is curled my eyelashes, and I always heat up my eyelash curler with the um, blow dryer first to make it a little bit warm, and then you touch it to your arm, so if it's too hot here, it's going to be too hot here, so, and you don't want to hear my hair dryer going, so, well, and I'm going to try to quit saying so, because I know I say that a lot. What's another word I could use? And, and next, okay. The eye primer I'm using, I really like the Lemonade from Benefit, but my eyes are so dry that I need something a little more moisturizing. So this is um, a line from a dermatologist called Being True. So we're going to do that. And this really takes the, the redness out. Ooh, you can just see how dry my eyes still are. This is not... Just keep in mind this is not normal. <laughs> and I'm in a creaky chair, so if you hear like that noise, that's this old chair that I have. I've got my mother-in-law's old makeup table that my daughter used to use as my new setup. Oh, it's so dry and ugly. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be so glad when this eczema was over because I can't take it anymore. So there's my dry, cracky eyelids. Okay, I hadn't decided what I'm going to do. I wanted to show you guys. I am going to use the new Tarte palette that I just bought that's actually discontinued, so if you don't have it, maybe you can get it online. But this is, um, if you know anything about Tarte, it's Amazonian clay. I got a good deal on it because it was going um, out. So this is the palette I'm going to be using by Tarte. There you can see. It's got some matte shades and some shimmer golds and browns, so we're going to try that out for the first time today. And I don't have fancy brushes, just to warn you, I'm going to slowly get all the Sephora brushes, but right now I'm just kind of using my e.l.f. and Sonia Kashuk that I like and whatever came in some palettes, but I will be upgrading, so I don't, don't ask me what number, or, you know, it's just not going to help you. So this one I'll tell you, it's the Sonia Kashuk number 109. So... 
Oh, yeah, we're going to do it in the way. See, I'm so scattered because this is my very first one. We're going to go in with this lighter color. I wonder if it says what color they are. I don't know where that went. Oh, this kicks up a lot of dust. My neighbor stole this from me and tried it, and she said it has no pigment, and I think she's right. So we're not going to go with this palette at all. Never mind. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Aren't I scattered? <laughs> Instead, we're going to go with the It palette that I know that is always my go-to palette, the Naturally Pretty It palette. So forget about the Tarte palette. I'll give you a review on that another day. But this one I know will work. So we're going to go in with Love, because that's a pretty matte pinky color. I don't know if you guys can even see. Yeah, my eyelids are so dry that just nothing is going to show up today, so this may be a really crappy tutorial. And I like to go on the lid with the love. All over with the love. Okay, then we're going to go, I'm going to do real light today too, because this is just going to not turn out very well, I don't think. I'm going to go in with warmth and go a little bit above my crease because I have, if you look, this eyelid hangs down further than this one and my Botox is wearing off, so I just kind of look straight on and try to see where the crease is. That's what's warm. This is what I just want to scream at my eyelids how I got eczema. I've never had it before in my entire life, and I know it's from trying too many products. Okay. So that's not quite dark enough, so let's go with a little sunrise. That's a little bit of an orange that kind of warms it. Ooh, that warms it up a little bit. Again, I'm not in the crease. I'm above it. So if you have hooded eyelids, you don't want to only go in the crease. You want to create a crease, so you want to go a little bit above. That's one of the things I've learned from all these wonderful YouTube people that I've watched. Okay, now I'm going to go in, in closer to the crease with Mocha. Again, you don't have to use a whole bunch of different brushes. I don't. I like this. You can do your whole makeup look with one brush if you really wanted to. Much better. I'm just pointed in that Tarte palette. I don't even know if you can really see very good. See how that warmed it up a little bit? I love this palette. I wish we sold it at Sephora. Um, now I'm going to go in with a little bit of Java, just make it a little more darker, and I'm just, this fluffy brush is great because if you're not really good at, you know, using a lot of pigmented colors and you're not good at blending, using a bigger brush like this is great because it doesn't get a lot on there. Just blend, 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 that's one thing I've learned. Blend, blend, blend. So this is just like a daytime look. A lot of people put like the dark right here and right here. I think for me that closes my eye off and I don't want my eyes to look any smaller. So um, I also like to go in with the transforming pearl and hit the brow bone a little bit. Um, go in with sheer joy into the corners to lighten that up. Highlight my dry skin and then hit the transforming pearl just a little on the lid also and that just really lightens it up. Okay. Now to the eye. Uh, should I do my eyebrows next? Yeah, I'll do my eyebrows next. I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I don't know what color it is anymore, but I'm thinking it's the blonde taupe because all one complaint about this is that all the lettering has worn right off of here. And it's probably because I use a lot of coconut oil and things, so but I love this thing. It's got teeny tiny little brush. So I got a Really look in my mirror here. I have no rhyme or reason how I do this. I just kind of fill them in. I don't know if you can see. I should probably do it more so that you guys can see. Again, my first tutorial that better film or I'm going to be really mad. <laughs> Yeah, since it's daytime, I'm not going crazy. And I just like a pencil better than a gel. I don't know about you guys. But let me really... Okay. That's a little bit harsh. So then, I love these little spoolies. This just blends it all out. 
eyebrows done. I don't mess around. I try to be done quick. Now what are we going to do? Eyeliner. Love, love, love this NARS. Um, what is it? NARS Via Benito. And if you <laughs> saw my other video, there's a little sharpener at the end, which I did not know. So we're going to sharpen this real quick. I should have done that ahead of time. Sorry. Oh, come on. So don't sharpen it with the real sharpener. Use the little sharpener it comes to with. Okay, put that back in the end. This is kind of hard to do and let you guys do. So I don't hold my eye. I have no rhyme or reason. This is just how I do it. So. Got to blow on it. <laughs> no, I have something in my eye. Now I have learned over the years. I love liquid eyeliner, but I can't go straight on with liquid eyeliner because it looks like a hot mess, and I'm not very steady. So that's this is just the beginning, <laughs> and I kind of like to go make my eye look woo. So I like to go higher up in the middle and then down a little lower. Technically, I don't know what you would call that. I should know. But... Okay, so this is with the pencil. Now I'm learning to create a little flick here. So if you follow your bottom, your bottom line, you make a flick and then you connect it. So I'm going to do just a mini. See that? Teeny tiny. And to get them the same. Is practically impossible. <laughs> I have an in frame here. Yeah. That's pretty close. And then I have to hold my wrinkly saggy skin. Oh, let's do this one first. and connect it. I don't know if you're seeing. There are so many ways to do this and you just have to work. Find what works for you. And today it's not going to be it's not going to be perfect. <laughs> and I, normally I like this side more than this side. Today I like this side more. Hmm. Well, this is what the great thing is. Take your Q-tip. Oh, honey, water her. I'm just going to lick it and do it again. either one. I feel like I should just start this video all over again. <laughs> okay, they're just going to be uneven today. I'm only doing this because I promised you guys I'm going to do it. I'm going to suffer through. All right, now I really like the Buxom liquid liner. And this is what you do to get all to really close down to the lash line. And so I just... I go with the cell again. This is the cheater way to do liquid liner. You do you draw it out pencil first, and then you get really close to your lash line with the liquid. I don't know if you guys can see. Now I've irritated my eye, and it's all red. Why is it that? Oh. that a little bit. 
Well, I like I'm going to have to mess up the other side so they're both messed up. They look even to you guys? Kind of. This eye eczema stuff has just put me in a crappy mood because I just, you know when you have to wear makeup for a living now? Not for a living, but you know, to work and then you look all dried out and it's like, who's going to want to buy makeup from you if you look like that? <laughs> okay, I washed my brushes yesterday so now I can't find one of them. Oh, here it is. They look funny when they're clean. Okay, this is a Sonia Kashuk number 122. Now this is how I soften up so it's not such a black black line. I go in with the Nior, Nor, Noir, tap off the excess and I just go over it with an eyeshadow just to kind of soften it and to make it look like it's been smudged because when I smudge it's a mess so this is just my little and you could go over it with a blue if you want or there's a really pretty midnight I've gone over that with it but today we're just going to do the basic black. I love black. I think it makes my eyes stand out a little more. And it's just a classic look. I think I was supposed to be born in the 50s because I have big boobs and a big butt and a small waist. And that's the era that you needed to be in. <laughs> For all those cute little dresses that they wore and with the tight waist and the belt. Okay, so that's, that's all I do with my eyeliner. Sometimes I take the... Um, do the upper waterline with the NARS and it doesn't move. But now that I've gotten older, I don't mess with underneath my eyes. I don't put any um, liner under there. I don't put any shadow because all it does is bring my, my eyes down. But when I had my fore forehead done in Botox, it, it brought, it changed the shape of my eyes so I could put it underneath. I had to try to shape my eyes, but now that I don't do the upper forehead, it, it's not a problem anymore. So now all I do is I do the mascara. The first layer I do is the Falsies Volume Express from Maybelline. And what you want to do is get, you have to pretty much touch the inner waterline and you want to really get it to the root and the thick at the bottom. So, and if you blink and get it all over your face, wait till it dries and take it off with the Q-tip. This one's running kind of low. So I need to get a new one, but you got to and it almost coats your bottom waterline. If you touch that bottom waterline, you'll get used to it. It kind of itches. It's okay. You gotta touch it to really get those bottom roots. Because all we're doing the first time is just getting those roots really good. Not so much the ends. See? And then I made a mess, but it's gonna be okay. And I take my. This is funny. I have not find a comb, found a comb yet that I like as good as this one, and it's... Okay, I have not found a comb that I like as much as this this old mascara, and it's nasty, but I wash it. What was this from? Revlon. And it came with the mascara, but it's this tiny little brush. I can't find anything that has these little tiny teeth in it as much, so I just... I've had this thing for probably 10 years. If you remember the mascara that it was, let me know. Okay, and then today we're going to go with, it's their real, since I got this in gratis, we're going to go over it. And I love this little tiny brush at the end, and it's so cute, and it works so good. So the key to long eyelashes is always using two different kinds of mascara. It does not matter. Look at the difference. Crazy. Uh, it doesn't matter really too much what the two different ones are. These are the ones that I've just been liking lately. Sometimes I use Buxom. Sometimes I use the Makeup Forever. Today I'm using that. Take my little comb that they don't make anymore. Comb them out. Now I've got a mess all over there. We're going to wait for that to dry. Um, on my Underneath my eyes, I, I can't put any lotion on because of my eczema, so I'm just going to put a little bit of Smashbox um, under eye brightening primer that I just have a sample of that I took from Sephora. So I'm just going to go in there and I'm not putting any, I don't have any concealer under my eye, nothing. This is just, but this is going to brighten it a little bit. And I love the erase paste for under there, but I'm hoping this will help with my bags. And if you have really bad wrinkles and under eye bags, do not put concealer all the way up under there because all that does is make it look worse. 
and then all your makeup comes off under there. I just don't, I think older people like me over your 40s, you just, I mean, you make the mistake of doing that. And if you have really bad um, bags under your eyes, look down and then fill in just those parts with the bags like I do. See, when you look up, they're gone. Look down, so don't walk around like this. Walk around like this. <laughs> but just get, you know, just under there. Maybe I'll show you what the erase paste, how great that is, since I'm just going to watch it up. So this is erase paste by Benefit. I'm going to clean off my concealer brush and go in with that and just show you. It's kind of like, it's comparable to, I would say, and I like this too, is the Giorgio Armani Master Corrector. This thing just makes a mess. Anyone else have a problem? It all leaks out around the top and I'm just, ugh. I waste half of it. Right, we're going to go up with the erase paste. Notice I'm not going all the way up with the erase paste. Just, I think that makes just a giant, and this stuff is really hydrating. Another trick you want to do is don't, you know, you want to bring down your concealer a little bit. So bring it down like into a V. I've got some. And then you can also use this to clean up your your makeup mistakes. Kind of bring it out here. So that looks terrible. And now my mascara is dry enough. Whoops, sorry, pulled the camera that I can just get off those dry pieces. And that way you're not rubbing off your eye makeup, it just flakes right off. See? Okay done with my erase paste. Doesn't that look better? Not if I look down. <laughs> oh, what are we going to do next? Oh, under eyes. I'm going to go with my their real underneath. I always like to put the concealer on first and then under eye mascara. So that's the only thing I put under my eyes is mascara. Oh, sorry, you guys probably can't see. This will probably be the most boring, worst makeup tutorial you'll ever see. <laughs> it's my first one. I just got a new mirror, too, so. It's a little bit clumpy. One thing, I think this mascara clumps a little bit. And I have not mastered the roll and flip, and uh, I'll get there. <laughs> I'm just trying to calm them out. I made a mess. Oh, that looks not so good. Now what are we going to do? Let's see here. Isn't this so professional? <laughs> I got it in my waterline. See, I should have waited for this to dry and it's already smearing. Maybe this should be a how not to do a video. Okay, number one thing. Well, okay, there's three things I wouldn't live without on a desert island. My mascara, eyeliner. In this stuff. It is the Clinique Pore Refining Solutions Instant Pore Perfector. I want to try the Too Faced one, but I have a brand new tube of this and I want to use up everything I have before I move on. So I have giant pores in my nose. If I would just put makeup on without any kind of this pore primer, you would see the holes in my nose. It's horrible and it just looks terrible. So this stuff instantly hides the hole, the, the holes in my nose and I have a couple really big ones and you just need a tiny bit of tube of this probably lasts me a year and I have a really big hole over here I don't know if you can see and this pretty <laughs> he just fills it in and I don't you know sometimes they're kind of big down here so I'll put a little there it must have silicone in it I've never read them just wherever you think you need a little bit of extra help. But my nose, I cannot put my kit, my medicine, or medicine. Today's a fast day, so I haven't eaten yet today. <laughs> That's why I'm a little scattered. Um, okay. Now, I got this in gratis, and I'm really liking it. It's called the Benefit um, Big Easy. Can you see? I'm, I'm in the natural light today, so it's hard to see. But this is bigger than BB Medium Number 4 is what I'm using. So... I'm really liking this, and I'm a bare mineral girl, but this is just kind of easy to put on. I'm just going to dot it around, and then I'm going to use, 
I'm a big fan of e.l.f. brushes because I'm cheap. And once I, I'm going to eventually, you know, get more, get better brushes. Oh, one thing at a time. And this color is a little bit dark for me. But it's summer, so oh, it's okay. And I don't get to pick it. They pick, when you have gratis, they kind of pick. And so sometimes, I, apparently, they they work and sometimes they're not going to work. But this stuff, it's like a cream to powder finish. And it stays pretty well. So I bought my first um, mirror that really mag. Oh, I have way too much on. That really magnifies everything, and that was I was pretty depressed yesterday when you get into that ten times magnification or whatever it is, and you think, oh, you look okay, and then you flip that mirror around. Holy hell! <laughs> I have hairs and pores and places I did not even know I had. I need a little more hair. So I did some damage to my face. I'm a picker. And I was like, oh, what is that? <laughs> so don't do that. Okay, so I think if you can see, this stuff goes on. Oh, it's kind of left up. Smooth it in pretty well. So I have a little bit of concealing I need to do before I finish her off. Mm. I've, I've been battling. You ever get when you hate when you get a blemish and you're battling it for like a month? I'm crazy. I've got a few. This is also, I really like this. I might go to the pool today with my son. It has an SPF 35. We'll see. Oh, this, this is not going to be the you need perfect skin tutorial because this is going to be a quick should be quick out the door but you know okay what do I like to do next get in my drawer here I really like um, my MAC bronzer which I know it's a competitor so shh, don't tell but I just want to use it up I've hit pan on it I'm just going to use it up before I go I'm probably going to go to the hula the next bronzer I want to buy is a benefit hula bronzer so a little bit of a bronzer and this is an elf brush because once again you know if you can't afford the expensive brushes I think the elf and the um, Sonia Kashuk are the way to go I mean if you take care of them you know and try and don't get the handle wet when you wash them because then the glue falls apart and you know you're getting what you pay for there but the brushes are super soft and for the money you know you're better off by an elf than you are like the warm Walmart brand or Target brand I always bring my bronzer down a little bit and then you go across your forehead a little bit. I keep forgetting to look at you guys so you can see. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see because I'm in natural light. I don't know if you can see. This is just a good color for me, but there's no... As I was saying before, my camera so rudely turned off, and then I had I didn't have sufficient space on my cart. There is not a Mac store in Montana, Wyoming, North Dakota. I just happened to get this in the airport when I was traveling once, so I'm just using it up. Oh, forgot to contour. I'm trying to learn how to contour my big nose, so I don't know how well I met that, but another elf brush. Down the side, down the side. Do the tip of your nose. Okay. And a blush that I'm really liking. There it is. Another elf product, but I'm going to use it up because I really like it, but it's super pink, and I first looked at this and thought, there's no way... I can wear this bright, oh, you can't even see what a bright pink it is, but it looks really good on all my clean brushes. I'm really liking that foundation. It's hydrating too, so there's my blush. Uh, we'll do a little bit of highlighter for fun. I'm liking the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. It's creamy, so it's, I just put a little here, rub it in. Sephora has a really good little baked trio of a blush, highlighter, and bronzer, and I really like the light colored one. That might be something I really want to get. 
in there. Do a little bit down your nose. If I use too much, I've had this for about a year. I swear it's never gonna run out. Um, the last thing I want to do is mineral veil just to kind of set this because I don't have any other setting powder and I have a lot of it so I'm just going to use it up. And I should just kind of set it. Okay. I have my hair in my my messy bun I'll show you lovely today it's really dirty I think I don't think I've washed my hair in probably four days <laughs> Shh. a lot of dry shampoo last thing I'm gonna do is lips again with the elf because I just really like it I have the elf matte um, lip color in tea rose it's comparable to if you ever use buxom dolly that is i'm going to buy that that is a lip plumper and it tastes so good and it's oh i love buxom but this seems like the same color to me and this is three dollars what's dolly 20 so and i've learned as you get older you do not want to line your lips with a teeny tiny little pencil anymore because it just accentuates the wrinkles and I bet a lot of you guys have this if you go to Sephora. This is the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Natural Number no. 9, which is sold out of our store. But this is such a, I'm a, I'm a mauve person. I like, you know, neutral. This is kind of a pinky color. And my lips are really dry too. I should have exfoliated them, but it's all I do for lips. I always mix two different colors, so... I'm all done. This is my makeup look. I hope you guys didn't think this was too boring or awful, but this is just what I'm using right now. I'm going to get into higher end things as we go. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry this was scattered and organized and not very pretty, but I'll close my eyes so you can see. Don't look at this side. Just look at this side. Looks pretty good. Hope you're having a great summer. Hope you have a great day. I promise to do a better tutorial another day. Thanks so much for watching and being so nice. Um, you guys are awesome. Bye.